G'day all, uh, just like to give you an update on what's been going on and uh, give you an instruction guide to install DCC Concepts, um, Cobalt SS, um, Surface Mount um, Point Motors and Drivers. So this will be, tell you, we'll tell you how to put it into an uh, NCE system. So it's all fired up and all running. Um, and basically it comes as, you buy it as a one pack, you can buy it as a six pack. Uh, and this one here is the 12 pack. Okay, so it comes with 12 point motors. Okay, it comes with six controllers, which will do two point motors. It comes with additional flying leads, and we'll show you about how to use those as well. So extenders and um, breakout ones. It's also got a whole heap of little arms and we'll show you which ones to use there, well, I, ones I use anyway. Um, screws for the surface mount of the controller, and then there's tiny little ones, these ones here, which will do the point motors. Okay, so first things first is um, the instructions. Here are the instructions, and they are extensive and comprehensive. So I read these um, and as you can see here, this is probably the easiest way to see. It's set up so, as you can focus, as you power in, you can put the power out, you can daisy chain it. I didn't do that because I like to have a bit of redundancy. Um, you've got momentary switches that you can use, okay. You've got um, outputs for LEDs and you've got spare switches so that you can um, uh, change polarity and stuff like that. And then of course there's where you put the point motor and stuff like that. And there's the adjuster for the throw. Okay, so that's a little screw, screw mount. So there's the other side of it here. There you go. And again, comes everyone comes with one, so it's not a problem. Um, but I will give you some tips um, how to be a bloke and not read the instructions. So, um, so what I've done is I've set one up here. Now this has been daisy changed. This is, hasn't been adjusted or anything like that. So having read the instructions, I think the first thing you need to do is make sure that you've got the throw here. And then I'll just show you that. That little fella right in there is the throw. Okay. So... They'll either come in facing this way, okay, and so what you do, what I first thing I would recommend you do is the power to be uh, applied to it is either 10, 12 volts DC minimum or um, uh, 15 to, or sorry, 12 through to um, 23 volts for DCC. So this DCC system here is putting out um, 15 volts, okay? So that's well within the parameters. And the very first thing I would do, put the power on it, you get these lovely little LEDs, little blue ones. And, and I found this afterwards, is if you press this button here and you hold it down for three seconds, then you'll see this moving to the detent. There we go, okay? So now the point motor has moved to the detent and it is um, either gonna be um, in the normal position for your point, for example, like that, okay? And then therefore you can adjust. So the next thing the instruction says is to, um, if you're gonna use a DCC system is you need to give it an address. So, um, let me give this one 20. So the first thing we do is there's a little button over here. Let's see that. And that you need to set to set. So what that does, it then uh, enables you to grab your controller. Okay. Press select accessory. Press 20. Press enter. Okay, and you can press one, it doesn't make a difference, okay? So, then you turn this back to run, 
okay? So, if we then go back to this and we select accessory 20 and we want to go to reverse. Okay. Select accessory 20. And there we go. So, do that again. Select accessory. Okay. And we're going to go to reverse. Okay, so that keeps moving backwards and forwards, and that's at the factory setting. So if there's not enough throw on that, okay, you can get a screwdriver. On the other side of this, over here, clockwise is going to increase your throw, okay? So let's increase the throw. See this? The lights move a little bit. So, you then go back to your ladder, enter, and we'll go stick it into reverse. Whoops, it's already reversed. And then that'll throw further, okay? So you just keep doing that back and forth until you get what you need, okay? So, it's pretty much that simple. So everything else added on is um, putting power to the frogs and so forth like that, okay? So once you've done that, you can then set up the macros. So now to set up a macro on the NCE system, um, you need to know which addresses you are going to use. So on the layout here, I've actually quite crudely put a number on each one of these, 18, that was 705, um, 12, 13, 14, etc. Okay, so here in the example, if I've got a macro I've already made up, so let's make up uh, 10. Okay, so that then set the pin number 10 road all the way through to here. Okay, I set another macro. One. Enter. And there you go. All the way through. Not brain surgery, but there you go. So, um, so what we'll do is we'll actually set up, I've left one clear, and we'll make up a macro for um, road number four there. So set this up. Program macro, enter. You want to program it? Yes, I do. We'll make it four, okay. All right, so the first accessory here is 16. Okay, so that's this crossover. Okay, so I put in 16 and it will be in the reverse. So reverse. Then the next one is 17 here and that needs to be normal. So 17 and I put that and then the next one after that is 19. Okay, and that is also normal. And then you just press enter, and there you go. You've gone and pro pro programmed yourself a macro. So just exit out of that. So then you go macro, number four, enter. And bingo. There's your road set. Happy days. Okay, so other tips for you. When I built this um, fill yard, you'll see there I made these points too close together and I've had to put an arm all the way up and through there. So what I used for the arm was this stuff just link wire. 
okay? So you just use a pair of pliers and happy days and that just goes straight into the little arm, okay? When you're doing these, be really, really careful to make sure that these are dead flat and that your screws are in the right spot. Because I've fuffed around with them a fair bit. So if you're building your fiddle yard like this and it's already done and it's nice and flat, okay? I would recommend you use these colors. Okay, so they all come with a color on them. And then there's, I'm not gonna just see, yeah. there's one in there, okay? So these are all set up so that they can go to the right height and they'll sit in there. The other thing you need to do, which is in the instructions, is you need to remove the spring from here. Okay, so the way you can do that is just get a little tiny screwdriver like this one here sorry but the little tiny screwdriver and just push the spring out of that location and then cut it okay it's a bit of a difficult thing if you've already put all your points in but that's what i did <laughs> okay so um the other thing points uh, uh i guess tips for you is that if you're doing a set of crossovers like this one is this point motor and that point motor there are both powered by the one power supply okay so if you've got these out of whack because adjustment is a pain in the butt all right is to just unhook them from here so this is the reverser one you'll see this is the um, this comes in your um, you get two of these I think per um, per six uh, controllers. So this reverses that throw, okay? So if you found that you've put this all together backwards and normal turns out to be reverse and reverse turns out to be normal, they've already thought of that. And over here, you've got clockwise, counterclockwise. So if you just, oops, Click that back that way then it will say normal is reverse and reverse is normal okay so um, that's a pretty groovy thing so if you're looking over here as well I have put power in and I've used green and I've used yellow so that is the power for the DCC concepts um, controllers the other the black and the red that is track power the blue is for the frog okay so all the frog frogs for this are now all powered okay so they just switch between the two so it's no difference to say tortoise point motors and stuff like that so anyway look i think that's about it that's uh that'll stop you from having to use the instructions and there you go so that's how to put a macro in how to do an nce system uh, with dcc concepts uh, Cobalt SS point motors. All right, enjoy.